From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big Sunday morning here on LA Late with incredible details about your fourth seamless check update of 2021 today. In this recording, we'll be going over that monthly seamless check that the Democrats want you to have. And they're calling for a vote starting tomorrow. We'll be going over the other bills that may be distracting but have nothing to do with this so you know what's on tap for this next week. It's incredible news. I'll be going over how much those Democrats want you to give to get in that fourth seamless check and when they want you to get that fourth seamless check as well. Then we cut to fifth stimulus, which heats up this fall and raises your benefits up lifetime, but also gives you another stimulus check and why the breaking news from Friday. Friday and the breaking news anticipated for tomorrow will give you a bigger indication of how high your benefits are going. And then we cut to this, we cut to the big money across the board that viewers continue to get. It's a big day for you to get it as well. Thousands of dollars across the board. The toast is toasted. The butter is buttered. The coffee is brewing. I'm here. You're here. Let's get to it. This is a big morning starting right here on Mornings LLX. It's Sunday morning. How you doing? Hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful day. I know there has been a heat wave across much of the country and a tropical depression, tropical storm. So how is the weather where you are? And tell me where you're tuning in from. I really do hope you're having good weather this Sunday. But tell me, jump in the live chat right now. Tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. It got cooler here in Southern California, and today, at least along the beaches, is supposed to be beautiful this Sunday. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers, and I'm wearing my Sunday red, because <laughs> crypto's crashing, uh, and because we're looking for a big golf win at the U.S. Open. <laughs> yeah, this for Simmons Jack out day 2021. This morning's L.A. Sunday, I'll be going over the breaking news. The for Simmons Jack, how much you're going to get, those Democrats want you to have. And the voting next week. I'll also be going over that other legislation that has nothing to do with forced stimulus. So you understand that what that is, so you understand it has nothing to do with our story and our coverage here on this channel. Then we'll be cutting to fist stimulus that raises your benefits of lifetime. And we'll be waiting for the more reaction tomorrow on Wall Street to the shocking statements from that guy from St. Louis on Friday that signals how big your benefits will be raised up because of inflation. And that additional fist must check. Wow, great news as well on that. That's coming up later in this video. And then we have the thousands of dollars the viewers continue to get, and it's your day to get as well. If you're new, this is LA, your 24-hour day, seven days a week, only financial news channel in America, broadcasting seven days a week on air, morning, noon, and night. I don't want you to miss a single video across the board. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year. So hit that subscribe button right now. Also, like the video. It delivers free pizza. <laughs> well, you know, I tried that. You know, hit tap once for pepperoni, tap three times for sausage. I don't know. <laughs> it seems to work. Uh, and consider becoming a member. Let's get right into that for stimulus. It heats up with a House bill and a Senate proposal. Let's go over the compare and contrast of them. Starting right now, the House bill provides a monthly stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. The Senate bill, the Senate proposal, on the other hand, provides a stimulus check for a shorter duration. Let's compare how they play out. Here we go. House, one year plus pandemic. Senate, July to December. Let's look at the monthly payout. House, 1000 monthly. After first month, 2000 Senate, the monthly unknown but what on the street is, is this. Wow. $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400 per person. Or $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000 a person. If you're on the live chat just after 9 o'clock, get ready to vote House or Senate. And tell me where you're tuning in from and how the weather is this beautiful Sunday, Father's Day. But let's go back to something we have to talk about, which is this. Pandemic plus one year? Well... Some may think the pandemic's over by, for purposes of a legislative intent, and that would reduce the House bill to just 12 months of 12 checks, which is $13,000 from Jalapal's House bill. Let's compare that now to this. 
from the Senate over six months? <laughs> I think you have an opinion. I think you have an opinion. Jump in the live chat right now and vote House of Senate. I want to see you vote it. Vote House of Senate and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. Who gets that fourth stimulus check? The Democrats want everyone who got third to get a fourth. So that's you. If you make less than 75000 single individual, you get a fourth stimulus check from the Democrats. If you're a married couple, 150000 or less, the Democrats want to give you a fourth stimulus check. Double it. If you're a family of four, the Democrats want you to have a fourth stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, the Democrats want you to have a forced stimulus check. Yes, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits. The forced stimulus check is not income, so it's not taxable. And the forced stimulus check comes monthly. It does not come in waves, and it's not a waivable check. So if you're at the beach this Sunday for Father's Day and you see the check trying to apply some SPF 15 to itself, don't say, hey, check, how you doing? Enjoying the wave? I didn't respond back. What a rude check. I hope you miss a spot with that suntan lotion. <laughs> it's not a rude check. It's just not waveable. It can't wave back. And it probably sunburns also. <laughs> so there you go. It's not a waveable check. The Democrats would be giving you uh, that first check in the month of July, for the month of July, because they're calling the vote by July 4th, the final vote. And then in August, for the month of August. So there you go. That is the first of your thoughts three parts of your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 in this video. In the second part, we'll be going over the breaking news, what Ron Portman is saying today. <gasps> Yawn. <sighs> Can he just stop it? <laughs> what Jalapal is saying. Yes. Some wonderful good news with the president saying and the voting process starting tomorrow. Very, very exciting. That's coming up in the second half of this video. The third part of this video, we go over the steps that you need to know and the modifications that you need to be ready for. But here's a preview of the preview of the second half of this video. It's this stimulus. This stimulus will have another stimulus check. I'll explain when. It's wonderful. And then it will also raise up your benefits lifetime. But there's this breaking news that happened on Friday and we're going to hear more about it tomorrow. As Wall Street reacts to the news that potentially inflation may be much higher than this 4 to 10% spike that I've been covering on this channel. It's coming up in the second half of this video. But boy, let's get some money. That's what we do on this channel. That's what I do on this channel. When this channel started, that's all I did was get viewers money. I continue to get it. I got viewers $25 million of EIDL loans in spring of last year to save their businesses, their homes, and their employees' homes. But in fall 2020, much like now, we were waiting for a stimulus package to pass, and but we needed money. So I got people a quarter million dollars of rent and utilities. Well, we're doing it right now as well. Get a pen and paper ready. And if it must be a Crayola crown, then at least match my Sunday rent. <laughs> I got a lot of money to get you in this video, so get that pen and paper ready. Stay at the very end. We're going to start first with rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and also uh, homeowners' utilities. The, 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 the rent is a lot. It's about $5,000, four to six months of rent. So first I'm going to go over where you're going to get it, but I'm also going to go over the eligibility. It's important to understand that. Each place has different eligibility. So if you reach out to one that says no, reach out to the next because they also have their own pot of money. Okay, you ready? You got that pen paper ready? Here we go. You're going to reach out to City Hall, City Housing Authority, County Hall, County Housing Authority, State Hall, State Housing Authority. Keywords you're going to use are rent assistance because of COVID, rent assistance because of COVID, or mortgage assistance because of COVID. You don't say words that they don't know, like stimulus. Or, um, you know, uh, Mitch's uh, uh, haircut style. <laughs> Mitch has a haircut style? I did not know that. Uh, but, I can't help you with, but I can help you with a rent if you have that question. <laughs> so don't ask them questions about that they don't know. <laughs> and there you go. Uh, Tim and Linda got this money. Congratulations. But this next pot of money is wonderful. If you got an, a penny from this channel or 100 pennies or 100,000 pennies, jump in the live chat right now and say what you got because it inspires me. It inspires other viewers because every time someone sees that, someone else knows that it's their chance to go get money right now. And we had one viewer who got $5,000 this week for it. This next thing, one viewer last week got six, the week before got six, $7,000 from it. And what is it? It's Snap. SNAP is wonderful. It is money for food. Where you get Department of Agriculture, reach out to Department of Agriculture. How much does it pay? A lot of money. About $15,000 for a family for it in Hawaii now. How do you get it? Reach out to Department of Agriculture. But why so much money? 
because of two wonderful executive orders, one from Biden and one from Trump that raised your benefits up 15% between now and December. So go get it. Lynn Glenn got it for herself and her son and her mom, Gail, got it. And we're killing it. You're killing it. Keep on killing it. $15,000 for SNAP, Family of Four in Hawaii, $5,000 approximately for rent. And we're only 10 minutes in this video. Well, I got more money for you right now, about $5,000. It's coming back from your states. The states have been identified by the federal government as owing you money. These are states who had overpaid you due to computer error, not your computer error, and then asking you to return the money back to them. Well, the federal government has ordered them to return the money back to you. Yes, one of you got $5,000 from it. What is this? States had a computer error and they overpaid you. Well, it's not your computer error because your computer works fine. It's their darn Windows 98. Time to upgrade. Windows Vista was like 5,000 years ago. <laughs> And so where are you going to get on the direct deposit account you have with that state? How can you track it? Call up your state and say, hi, state, where's my check? And when you're tracking it, don't use the same computer. <laughs> and then we have our last pot of money, and it's wonderful money. That money is coming back from IRS. Margaret got it. Cod got it. It's the refund on your 2020 unemployment. If you got it as well, jump in the live chat and say you got it. Let's go over how much, where, when, and how to track it. First, how much? Let's say you had $9,000 of total unemployment benefits. Your $5,000 was your total tax bill, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits. You're getting back $4,000. Where? Direct deposit if that was on your tax return. Otherwise, in the mail. When? This month. Can you track it? About 70% of the time, you can. Go to irs.gov, set up a username and password, go in there and do a transcript search. 70% of the time, it will reveal the details. It will reveal the tax return you filed, the taxes you paid, the chicken enchilada you made last night, the tostada you're mailing me, and the refund check you're getting in the mail from IRS. <laughs> and there you go. And that is wonderful news. Can we top that? And we can with now the second of your third three parts of your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 starting right now. Well, here we go. Started tomorrow. The recon voting is starting. The reconciliation voting for your fourth stimulus starts this coming week. Boy, exciting news. Now, with exciting news comes often confusion. And here is one of the things I want to tell you and educate you about right now. There are other bills that are being voted on next week that are not this one. So I don't want you to be confused about them. The good news is that your bill is going to pass. The other ones are going to die. Why? Because yours is recon. Uh, the President of the United States come back, comes back into Washington, D.C. after a week out of town tomorrow or tonight. And guess what's being voted on as well? The voting rights bill is in the Senate. It's going to die because it's not going by recon, which is going to encourage and inspire and ignite the Democrats to get this done by recon. Because they're going to see a very important bill, the voting bill, die very quickly. It's not going to pass uh, because it does not have the votes among the Republicans. So the voting is starting on your recon. It has already been under reconciliation. It has already been under reconciliation. But the voting part is going to start. Uh, it will be ending by July 4th. It'll end with a passage. And um, there is some exciting news. And let me go over the exciting news. Starting with Jalapal, the other progressive, and the president's comments. First, let me read you the comments, and then let me explain the comments to you. The comments are difficult to read on air because they're double negatives. Bad grammar. <laughs> they're legislators, not English teachers, but it's double negatives. So I got to explain it to you after I say it. Uh, Jalapal said the following, the White House has not in any way told me not to do what I'm doing with the progressives. <laughs> That's wonderful news, but it's a double negative. Uh, and then Brian Schatz says, the White House has repeatedly reassured him that the White House considers the progressive priorities the White House's priorities. Wow. Now, this is wonderful news. Let me explain to you what's going on here. It's a I rub my back, I rub your back, you rub my back situation. The president doesn't write legislation. The legislators write legislation. He proposes what's in there, but he also says what he's going to veto if it's not in there. And guess what he's absolutely caused as a line in the sand and for stimulus? Climate and the CARES economy, which refers to seniors and medicine. Those are both progressive policies, and he wants those in there, and he is getting them in there. From who? 
the progressives like Jalapal. Jalapal has told the president that his progressive two policies he wants in there, they progressives will put them in there, climate and CARES economy, to which the president is very, very happy. He's a very, very happy camper. To which the president says back to Jalapal and the progressives and put what you progressives went in there for yourself. And guess what they went in there? The monthly stimulus check. So the progressives, legislators, they want the monthly stimulus check progressive policy in there, and they're putting it in there, they claim. And the president wants the climate and the CARES economy progressive policies in there, and the progressives claim they're putting them in there for the president. Backs rubbing backs. There you go. But how did we get to this wonderful spot? We got to that spot from Leader Schumer. A Friday before Memorial Day weekend. When the president, when Schumer announced one, the recon had already been underway. Two, it's going to finish by July 4th, and three, it'll finish with a passage of the fourth stimulus. But how do we get to that spot? We got to that spot by Jalapal as well. Jalapal had Richard Schumer a letter saying, Chuck, call the vote. Chuck, call the vote on the recon. Well, that letter was signed by 12 House Democrats who were among the 100 plus House Democrats who had written the president a letter days earlier saying, Mr. President, we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks into the fourth stimulus package. Wow. Now that is wonderful news. Can we top that news? We can. When seven House Democrats about a week ago wrote the president a letter saying, Mr. President, when we write the fourth stimulus, we're going to be writing monthly stimulus checks in there in the fourth stimulus package. Well, who are these people to say that? What do they do for a living? Who are they? They wrote your first stimulus check. They did? They wrote your second stimulus check. They did? They wrote your third stimulus check. They did? And they are currently marking up the bill, they say. Wow. And they say they're writing four stimulus checks in there as well. Are they writing fifth stimulus checks as well? They claim they are. They're on the House subcommittee that's responsible solely for writing stimulus checks. Wow, now that's wonderful news. Can we top that wonderful news? We can. A week ago, the President of the United States went overseas and anchored to the edge of the finish line an international agreement, excuse me, <laughs> anchored to the finish line, near the edge of the finish line, forced him by signing an international agreement, which anchors forced him to the edge of the finish line because no longer those provisions needed in forced him they're now in the international agreement. Let me explain how he got there. It's wonderful news. It started a recent Tuesday ago when the president did something complicated, confusing, and I said I have to slow it down to explain it to you. So I'm going to slow it down right now as well. Four stimulus is paid for by raising the U.S. corporate tax rate. It's the rate in which corporations pay taxes in the United States, to which the president said he was worried that those corporations may leave the U.S. to go to another country where the corporate tax rate is lower. So he reached out to those lower rate countries and they said, yeah, let's all raise our rates so no one will move around their businesses. The president was ecstatic. He reached out to his legislative team that recent Tuesday ago and said, you know, this December, after we prepare to figure out who we're going to send caramel co popcorn to, and I like the, I like the extra caramel one, uh, let's... <laughs> meet with those uh, G7 countries overseas in December and have them sign this into law. And if they do, then we'll come back and remove the provisions for four stimulus about corporate tax rates we don't need. Well, that was then. And then the president did it. Biden did it. He surprised us all by getting those G7 countries to agree to it last Saturday. In his first international trip overseas, the president got those G7 countries to sign this agreement into law now before force stimulus is passed to anchor force stimulus to the edge of the finish line because now those provisions are no longer needed in force stimulus. They're in the international agreement, making it easier for the Democratic caucus to pass for stimulus. Wow, now that's wonderful. And the only thing more wonderful than that is the third of our four stimulus check update. Third part of our four stimulus check update coming up after this commercial break. It is incredible exciting news. Plus fifth stimulus with that fifth stimulus check and that raising of your benefits. It's coming up right after this commercial break. But first, the, the other thing that's even more wonderful are the volunteers. They're salt to the earth. They're viewers just like you who have stepped forward to help you get that money if you can't find it. So if you're having problems getting that rent, utilities, mortgage, or internet or snap, reach out to the community page and the volunteers. How do you find them? Open the descriptions of this video. Go down the description. You'll see an emoji of a house and it'll say community page. Click the link. It sends you to news.la.com forward slash community. There are the volunteers. They're separated from Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit, and, and Twitter, and Instagram. Reach out to them, and they can help you get that rent, 
internet, food, mortgage assistance, or SNAP. They cannot take out your dry cleaning. They cannot walk your dog. They cannot give you um, uh, a massage, but they can maybe give you directions to Mitch's Lobster Fest. <laughs> so don't ask them to do something they don't do. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds but with more exciting details, but first, here is a little bit about the community page. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. The toast is toast and the butter is butter and the coffee is brewing this Sunday, Father's Day. I'm here with you with a full programming schedule. No shows are missed today, despite the fact that it is Father's Day. How's the weather where you are? Jump in the live chat right now and tell me where, how the weather is where you're tuning in from. I know there's a heat wave. I know there's a tropical storm and tropical depression. So I hope you're having good weather this Father's Day. I'd love to see where you're tuned in from and how's the weather. In the second half of this video, we'll be going over the exciting details still about Force Tim's new stuff you're gonna hear for the first time ever as Ron Portman speaks out again. <laughs> and then you'll be hearing more about this Tim us with exciting details about what's anticipated for tomorrow. And it's very, very exciting news. But first, subscribe. A 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you part of this channel. Hit that subscribe button. You want to make sure you don't miss a single video across the board. 400,000 subscribers in one year. Next stop, 1 million. Like this video. It brings better weather. And it gives Father's Days, uh, Fathers an Extra Golf Club. And consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino, VMP. Let's get right to Fist Stimulus. First, before I get to Fist Stimulus, I saw an interesting comment from someone in the live chat. But I saw a comment like this uh, yesterday a few times. So I wanted to answer it. it, it someone said, are we going to get that first check on July 15th? I've been seeing some strange dates where people have a, an actual date in their mind of getting a first check. I don't, it never came from me. So I don't know where they may have got to that. All the Democrats have ever said July, the check goes out in them July for the month of July. So I don't know why people are just sort of, there's some dates that people suddenly are mentioning. I'm hearing July 14th, July 18th, July. I don't know where these dates are coming from. Not coming from me. <clears throat> but, you know. <laughs> Fifth stimulus heats up with a lot of breaking news. First, will there be a fifth stimulus check? Yes. When? Next year. So those seven Democrats want you to have a fifth stimulus check. The voting on that would finish by around November-ish. The legislation on it would start around September. The check would be for next year. Really exciting news. Number two, the president has dedicated $1 billion to the Social Security Administration to ensure that your payments and your checks in the future go out on time. I'm happy about this. There was a debacle. Um, the third stimulus were direct expressed by Comerca. No one was getting checks on time. We had waves and your checks were missing and people were wondering, I'm never going to get the check. People on SSI get their checks later. It's just, they treat us disrespectfully. He's just, he sees the problem. And this is just wonderful news. So a billion dollars to ensure that their computer systems, their staffing, their, 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 their distribution systems all work faster so people get paid on time. Number three, uh, this is a complicated, this is a, a convoluted number three. 
it's the inflation rate. Uh, you know that your fifth stimulus involves raising up your benefits and tying it to a new benchmark, inflation. You also know that the inflation rate is going up and going up more later this year. And you also know the first time they apply the benchmark is in December for next year's benefits. Well, we're trying to figure out where this inflation rate is going to be. In the last seven days, we had the consumer price index and the CPI both come in ray red hot. And so Wall Street basically said, we're probably at about 4% interest rate, uh, 4% inflation rate now. And that 4% inflation rate is going to head up transitory or temporary to a spike of about 10% and then come back down. Well, <laughs> on Wednesday, Jay Powell, your head of the Federal Reserve, said, I'm not going to talk about inflation. Uh, of course not. He can't. But he says the interest rate spikes, he's going to do two of them in two years from now, 2023. But then on Friday, the head of the Federal Reserve out of St. Louis, who's below j Powell, came out and said, inflation's too hot. Uh, oops, you're not supposed to say that. <laughs> and then he said, and those two spikes, we may do them next year. Oops, you're not supposed to say that. Wall Street took a plum, a, a, a punching and a big fall on Friday because of the news. But as you know, Wall Street's not open on Saturday and Sunday. Well, tomorrow we're expected to see more of the discussion of how big this inflation rate will be. So we're going to learn more about this, but let's now apply it to your benefits. Your benefits will be raised up one time under this stimulus. Then they'll apply an asset limit. Then the, uh, an asset limit. They'll apply the inflationary benchmark, remove the exclusive, income exclusion, and remove the marriage penalty. Let me explain how this calculates for you. First, they're going to raise everyone's benefits up one big time. One big time under fist stimulus. Who's you? You. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits, or more. Then they're going to apply this benchmark in December-ish for next year's benefits. Well... This is what you have to hope for, that as inflation is going up from 4% to a higher number, that it hits that higher number, potentially 10%, right when they're applying the benchmark in November, December. Because if it does, your benefits would raise up that amount, lifetime. So that amount is 10%, your benefits would go up 10% lifetime, because the way benefits works are, once you go up, you never step down. This is astronomically big. This is a huge, huge, wonderful thing. It dwarfs SS200. You should never, ever be talking about SS200 if you're a subscriber or a member of this channel because this dwarfs SS200. is astronomically more money. It's absolutely wonderful. So you want this to pass. Next, they're going to remove the asset cap. Dating back to a 1980s law that says you can't have more than $3,000 in hand. Now you'll be able to have a, 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 an empty hand and put some stimulus checks in there and an extra taco. <laughs> Uh, they're going to remove the income cap that prevents you from working and staying on benefits. That will go away so you can finally work if you want to work. And finally, they're going to remove the marriage penalty. Love is going to win and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest. You'll no longer be penalized by the marriage penalty. Viewers like Sandy, who's in the live chat, and Rob will be able to marry and no longer fear the marriage penalty. And there you go. That is fifth stimulus. But boy, there's a lot more money out there besides that. There's thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars for you in third stimulus. When third stimulus was passed, I told viewers, yeah, you're going to get a $1,400 stimulus check, but you're going to get five to $20,000 of other money potentially in third stimulus for you. And viewers continually get it from this channel. How? By becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. Members are delivered from me daily, a breakdown of all the money they can get under third stimulus, all the money proposed under fourth, and on all the money proposed under fifth. I break it down and deliver it daily to them via the community page on YouTube. So consider becoming a member so you can see the thousands of dollars that are potentially yours. And boy, it's time for some exciting details, and it's the third part of your fourth stimulus check update 2021 starting right now. Um, next week is going to be a a cloudy week, a, 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 a overcast week. Why? Because there's going to be a lot of activity of different things. And I want you to know what is this and what is not this. Next week, they're going to have a voting rights bill going to a vote in the Senate. It's not this. It's something else. It's going to die because it's not going by recon. 
<laughs> ding, ding, ding. It's not going by recon. And that voting rights bill is going to have a lot of Joe Manchin stories with it because it already has the Joe Manchin stories with it. Joe Manchin's now agreed to the voting rights bill and he's agreed, and but they're going to pass, they're not going to pass, it's going to pass. So I don't want you to hear that story and think it's this story because that's not, has nothing to do with force stimulus. That is voting rights. It, it just sounds similar because it's, 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 it's Senate and it's House and it's Joe Manchin. It just sort of sounds similar. But if you listen carefully, it's the voting rights bill. It's not this one. So don't get confused. That's the first thing. Second, um, my personal message. Uh, I'm going to go over personal message. I'm going to go over the the voting period of steps, which is very, very important. I'm going to go over fake narrative. And I'm going to have something brand new for you. You're going to hear for the first time on Mornings LA. And also, I'm going to go over uh, Purple Power Push. First, a personal message. You've been doing a great job. You've been doing a great job. This is not the Psychic Stimulus Network. And you should never be a psychic stimulus reader on the front porch or at your water cooler or allow anyone to do that to you. Because no one knows anything until the final moment. All we know is what they have proposed to put in there. And ultimately, legislators have a pen. They're currently marking up the bill. That means they're modifying the bill. They have a pen that has ink on one side and an eraser on the other side. And at any time, they can erase something and remove it. And any time, they can use a pen and put it in there. All we know is what they've said they're going to put in there, and we have to push to ensure they keep it in there, which brings us to the nine voting steps. The five and seven and eight are the critical steps where changes could be made. Listen to this carefully as I go through them right now. Step one, the House calls the, the procedural bill for a vote. Step two, the House subcommittee. Step two, the House floor calls a procedural bill for a vote. Step three, the Senate calls a procedural vote, bill for a vote. Step four, the President calls a procedural bill for a vote. At that point, the tow truck is passed over the finish line. Time to go get the tow hitch. Step five, critical step. Here we go. The House subcommittee, the one that can write stimulus checks, the one that's currently marking up the bill, calls it for a vote in the House subcommittee. At that point, there could be stimulus checks in there, or there may not be. Step six, the House calls it for a vote on the House floor. Step seven and eight. Here we go. Critical two steps. The two-day voterama in the Senate, in which the senators can amend, if they wish, anything that they got in that House bill. Three possibilities. One, House bill has no stimulus checks. Senators amend and add them in there. Possibility number two, House bill has stimulus checks in there. Senators love it. They leave it alone. Possibility three, House bill has stimulus checks in there, but senators want to amend. And they do. Step nine, the present signs of the law. Of those nine steps, the two-day voterama has to be done over two days. It's required by the Constitution a certain number of hours. But the other nine steps can be combined in several days. In, in, they can be more than one step can be done per day. And there you go. Now to fake narrative. I have a new thing to show you on fake narrative this morning, which is really important for you to know. I was watching a, a number three broadcast channel this morning. And they ran coverage of four stimulus. They ran the coverage. And if you watch the coverage, you would be confused by it. Why? Because what they were reporting was what was actually said. But they don't tell the whole story, either because the reporter doesn't know the whole story or because they don't give you a context for the story. Here's an example. Let's say, let's go back in time to earlier this year when third stimulus was being called for a vote. And Bernie Sanders said, um, I'm not going to vote in favor of third stimulus unless there is uh, a minimum wage in there. So if you're a broadcast news channel, you could possibly run the story. Third stimulus is going to die. No one's going to get a third stimulus check of $1,400 in January, February, because Bernie Sanders, the independent, said he's going to hold up the vote unless there's a minimum wage in there. That is how a broadcast news channel could run the story. And you could hear and say, oh, my God, I'm not going to get a third stimulus check of $1,400 earlier this year. Well, the correct way for them to have run the story was, but Bernie Sanders has said this before under second stimulus, and he folds like a lawn chair. He ultimately does vote in favor of the bill. He, that is just his way of expressing his thoughts. He never holds up and votes opposing. He never opposes any Democratic legislation. He just says, I really, really want to do this, and I'm going to go to the mat. So he, he has consistently said that. So that is what is already starting this morning in some of the broadcast channels is they're running stories that 
they don't give you the total context of the story. And you hear and you're like, that's confusing. Here's another example of why it's confusing. You've been very clear about, and I agree with you, the president has not cracked the whip enough. And he has not, and even the news reporters are saying, he has not stopped chatter that he should have stopped a long time ago. And because he's not stopping the chatter, the chatter's out there, and broadcast media is running the chatter, and you hear the chatter, and then you get confused. Is this important? Is this not important? A, a, a funny word for you. Is it important, Portman, or is it important? <laughs> No, it's important. Uh, Ron Portman, back on broadcast media this morning. I didn't even turn him on. He's out there running his mouth. He has nothing to do with forced stimulus ever because it's going by recon. He's a Republican. He's an exiting Republican. He's a guy who never wanted to give you anything in 2020. If you remember Ron Portman, in July of 2020, you were losing your home, your business, your car, and your, your life savings. You're out on the streets. And he said, get back to work. You're lazy. I'm cutting off your FPC, and I'm not giving you a stimulus check. That's Ron Portman. So why is this guy booked on broadcast media talking about something that's going by recon? Because he wants it to sound like you're coming to him for approval on the forced stimulus. No, we're, no, Democrats are not. But why are they running the story? It's sort of the president's fault because he did not stop this two-path discussion, recon and maybe bipartisan. He should have said, Okay, Shelley Moore Capito was done. We're done. I'm not hearing anymore. He did in, in Geneva, Switzerland last week say, I don't want to hear this anymore. But he came back off the plane and said, well, I'm happy to always hear about anything. I'm happy to hear. I'm happy to hear. He needs to stop doing that because every time he does that, it confuses people in America. Think, well, can Ron Portman stop our thing? Of course not. But you didn't make it clear, Mr. President. You 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 allow people to chatter negatively about something you're trying to finish. And so uh, that is why there's a sort of a new type of false narrative where it's actually a correct news story, but they're not telling you the entire context of the story. And so when you listen to it, you can get very, very confused. Um, finally, Purple Power Push. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. A week ago, yesterday, we had 12 tweets in 12 hours. Not great. Uh, and now you're doing a great job. So go on social media as you have. Tag your Democratic senators, your Democratic House members. Tag your progressives, your progressive Twitter caucus handles. There's a caucus for the House, a caucus for the Senate. Tag their chairs, their vice chairs. Retweet one another. Hashtag Purple Power, hashtag MSC. Say why you're entitled to us, why you need a stimulus check. Tell why it's important. And then finally, if you don't use social media, use the telephone, the old-fashioned way. Call up the D.C. offices of your legislators, speak to their staffers, and express to them why it's important. If there's any more reason, there was a Thursday reason. Why? Thursday's jobless claims number came out. This is new people who are newly unemployed for the first time since the pandemic started. The number was bad. It went up. It showed there was a rise of new unemployment claims for people who were never unemployed before. And where was it growing? In California, here. Even as our state reopened this last week, people who were never unemployed during the pandemic lost their jobs. So it shows you the need for forced stimulus. So keep on pushing. You're doing a great job. And with that, stay with me. In three minutes after this, I'm back with you with Morning's Crypto. Crypto's crashing. I told you it was crashing, and it's also eroding. I'll differ, I'll break down the differences for you as we see a potential worry about a um about a white crypto winter coming. <laughs> and then I'm back with you at noontime at 11 a.m. live on air. Two live shows coming up. But first, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers. I want you to subscribe. Be part of this family. Like this video. Two, 3,000 likes. And also for delivers free pizza. At least that's what I was told. I don't know. And consider becoming a member to get delivered to you daily what's in third and fourth and first and second. Third, fourth, and fifth stimulus. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful morning, and stay without it. <laughs>